is one of the most efficient ways to heat and cool your home. They're a perfect choice for additions, garages, or rooms where ductwork isn't available. Mini splits are energy efficient, quiet, and easy to install. The mini split is comprised of two units, the indoor air handler and the outdoor condenser. The components are connected by copper tubing, which allows a necessary refrigerant to circulate. A handheld remote gives you thermostatic control over the system. Before you begin installation, make sure you have all the parts you need according to the installation manual. Inspect the various components to ensure there are no defects before installation work begins. You can complete the majority of the installation yourself, however, the last 10% of the work should be completed by a trained professional. Proper installation is crucial to achieving maximum performance and energy savings the unit can produce. It's essential to carefully read the Blue Ridge Owner's Manual, paying particular attention to safety precautions and procedures before you start. Ensure you have the right tools for the job. Standard tools needed include the following, adjustable wrench, torque wrench, hex keys or allen wrenches, a drill and drill bits, a hole saw, a utility knife, a wire cutter and stripper, Phillips and flat blade screwdrivers, a level, safety glasses, and work gloves. Your professional installer should bring the rest of the required tools including manifold gauges, vacuum pump, flaring tool, and a dry nitrogen tank with regulator. To begin installation, choose a spot on the wall surface where you'd like the unit to be secured. Location should be free of obstructions near the air inlet and outlet, and should be at least six feet from the floor. Refer to the manual for more tips on choosing a location. Remove the wall bracket from the back of the mini split indoor air handler. Hold the bracket in place, use a level to ensure it is horizontally level, then mark the screw holes with a pencil. Drill the marked holes to create a pilot hole and use appropriate sized self-tapping screws with anchors to affix the wall mounting frame. Finally, check to ensure the wall mounting frame is firmly attached by pulling on it. Now you will create a hole in the wall to allow refrigerant lines, control wires, and condensation drain tube to go outside. The hole is usually two and a half to three inches. Using a hole saw bit, drill the hole, making sure to angle downward to the outside for proper condensate drainage. The wall mounted air handler ships with the refrigerant piping on the right and the drain tube on the left, but can be configured to your particular application. In this case, we will move the condensate drain tube from the left to the right. This requires removing the outer cover of the air handler. Open the service hatch and remove the four screws across the front and the fifth screw in the center bottom. Turn the unit over and release the four locking tabs. Carefully lift off the cover and turn the unit over to expose the drain connection. Unfasten the retaining clip for the drain hose and remove the drain hose. Next, locate the rubber drain plug on the right side, remove it, and use it to plug the left side drain. Replace the hose on the right side drain and fasten the retaining clip. Prepare to install the control wire by removing the wire cover and wiring clip. Push the color-coded multi-conductor wire through the inlet hole on the back of the air handler and pull a few inches through the front. Leave the cover open, you will make the wiring connections later. Now carefully unfold the refrigerant pipe, making sure not to crimp the copper tube in the process. Bundle the control wire, refrigerant lines, and drain tubing together with electrical tape to make sure it'll fit easily through the wall. An installation support bracket is an optional tool that helps by acting as a second set of hands holding the air handler